President Moon also covered the bilateral relationship between South Korea and Japan, with several issues outstanding on that front. Also, his policies regarding a referendum on the Constitution planned for next year and his plans to take the country nuclear free. Our Blue House correspondent, Hwang Ho Jun, has the details. During the hour long press conference, President Moon insisted that Japan's sexual enslavement of Korean women during World War II is an issue that prior agreements have never resolved. He also brought up the Supreme Court's ruling on the issue of thousands of Koreans forced into labor during the war, which established that past agreements between the two nations do not abrogate the individual victim's right to seek compensation from their former Japanese employers. President Moon emphasized, however, that issues of history should not hinder efforts by the two countries to build a constructive relationship. <laughs> Regarding the plan to hold a referendum next June alongside local elections to revise the constitution, President Moon reaffirmed that he will keep his promise to strengthen regional autonomy and the fundamental rights of the people but also stressed the need for more discussions on how to revamp the current government structure. At the end of the press conference, President Moon was asked about his policy of weaning South Korea off of nuclear energy. The president reaffirmed that policy, but said it will happen gradually, clarifying that his plan is to shut down nuclear reactors as each one fulfills its planned lifespan. <laughs> More than 200 reporters from Korea and abroad attended Thursday's historic press conference, along with the president's top aides. It was the first of its kind under the Moon administration with no prepared set of questions, but a spontaneous Q&A session between the president and the media, even small jokes being made here and there, inducing chuckles from both sides. Questions still linger due to the time constraints of the format, but the press conference was still a key moment for the young administration, showing the president's determination to better communicate with the people. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.